Kittle has become increasingly more popular lately, especially for print on demand because of the thousands of templates they offer that you can edit to put on your print on demand products. But with that, with a whole new program separate from Canva, which I've talked about before, this brings on a whole new set of licensing rules and how you can legally design with Kittle to sell commercial products. I've even found their licensing page to be a little unclear on exactly what we can and can't do with Kittle. So I personally had a chat with them to discuss all the questions I had about their licensing that I want to share with you guys so you know how you can legally use Kittle for your products, whether that be digital downloads, print on demand, or anything else really. And surprisingly, their rules are pretty different from Canva's. So if you do use Kittle, please watch this. So my first question is using your templates, how much do we need to change so that we can legally use this on a print on demand product? If you scroll through these, you can see literally thousands of different designs that would look great on a shirt, on a mug, on a product. But how much do you have to change it? Because in Canva, you actually have to change their templates to use them. And the surprising answer is you don't. You actually can just grab any of these templates and save them and use them for a physical product. Keyword physical product here. But they do recommend adding changes, changing colors, adding new text so that people aren't easily copying you. But that is just a suggestion and it is not legally required. Okay, so what if you sell digital downloads? Can you also use these templates? And the answer is kind of tricky, but let me explain it. You are allowed to sell these as digital downloads with a physical product in mind. And let me show you what I mean. This means you can sell things with an end product in mind. So you can sell like a set of three prints that someone has to download and then they can print it themselves. Or for example, something like this, a wrap for a glass cup. This has a physical end product in mind when people are downloading. This is an example of something you can't do. You can't just sell the SVG and PNG as a flat out file. Kittle has also recently introduced Kittle AI, where you can make clip art images. You can make a bunch of type of images using their AI software. And this was a corgi little clip art that I created with their software. If you use AI generated images, are you allowed to use these for commercial use? And the answer is yes. With Kittle AI, they have said you are legally allowed to use these for both personal and commercial products. So you can sell things like this on Etsy or on other platforms. But also this depends where you sell them. You might be trying to sell on a platform that doesn't allow AI generated art. So I can't specify that for you, but on Kittle's end, you are allowed to use these. Are you allowed to use all of the fonts that Kittle offers for commercial use? And the answer is yes. Shout out to my favorite Kittle font, which is Sunny Drop for that little retro vibe in there. But do keep in mind, that if you are uploading fonts from other sites, from Creative Fabrica, from Defont.com, or any that you found on the internet, that you need to make sure that those are okay for commercial use. Just because you add them into Kittle doesn't make them available for commercial use. This only applies to those fonts that are already preloaded into Kittle. And keep in mind that whenever you bring in an external font into Kittle, it is always going to show up in the font book no matter what, if you like switch projects or anything. So if you actually did bring in a file that you aren't allowed to commercially use, you brought it in and then you forgot and then used it, that could get you into trouble. So make sure you have like a notebook or something where you're writing down if you put a font in there that you are not able to use for commercial use. So Canva has a rule that using elements, you are not allowed to use a standalone element and then print it on a product. So you couldn't just grab like, one of their images like this and then just print it like that. You would have to add more text to it, more images to it to create a brand new design, but that is not the case with Kittle. They have said that you are allowed to use some standalone elements and you can just print those on one of your print on demand products. Again, the same recommendation as earlier, not really recommended because then you're not sticking out from your competition, but legally you're allowed to do so. If you are only on the Kittle free plan, are you allowed to use their designs or templates or products you made in Kittle? Are you still allowed to use those without paying for Kittle? The answer is yes, but you do need to include attribution 
When you download the file, you're also going to get a little instruction book on how you can properly attribute using Kittle for that design for you to be able to use it commercially. What happens if you've had Kittle paid and you've created a bunch of templates, but then you decide you do not want to use them anymore? What's going to happen to those designs? Do you lose the license to create them or sell them? The answer is no. If you created these when you had the Kittle Pro and downloaded them, you are still able to continue selling your products with those designs, even though you have removed your Kittle subscription. Then I asked for print on demand, are there any sites that are blacklisted that we are not allowed to sell these on? The answer is no. These are open to sell anywhere that you can sell print on demand products. You are also allowed to legally sell these in any country around the world. It is not limited to separate countries. The license is also not capped related to the amount of products you sell. So you can sell 10 t-shirts. You can sell a million t-shirts with that product. There is no cap to the amount of physical goods that you can print this on. And when it comes to copywriting for yourself, your own designs, things made in Kittle can be attributed and copyrighted back to you but if your designs include a template or some of the elements, then you do not have exclusive right to that design. So that means if someone on Etsy is selling the same template as you, you can't go report them because you didn't make that either. You got it from Kittle. They can grab it from the same place. In this video, we already dug through the more difficult parts of Kittle, but let's just quickly go over their licensing in case there was anything I missed. So permitted use, you are allowed to use designs for commercial products. You can use designs in physical end products. You can use designs as rasterized images for digital end products. That's what we talked about, like using these for digital art prints, but not as a SVG. You are allowed to use designs for multiple clients. Use them on your websites, your video games. You can use them for ads and you can use them for social media posts. And then here's what you can do resell or offer designs as digital stock material, sublicense or again claim exclusive rights to designs. You're not allowed to create Disney designs and then sell them and just because you made them in Kittle that makes them legal. No, you're still taking someone else's property so don't do that. And you can't be using them in a way that competes with Kittle. So if you want to compete with Kittle and create a design platform, don't use their designs. That really wouldn't make sense but that's a fun one to include in there. And then just don't do anything illegal, guys. Just Google Kittle license if you want to get to this page. And if there's anything I missed or you have any further questions, let me know in the comments below and I will try to get that answer for you. Thanks.